something you want to just sum up last uh, tournament you guys were at? Oh, last tournament went down to Salt Lake City. Uh, had a great showing. We were competitive in every one of our matches. I think uh, not having a practice down there hurt us a little bit. So I think uh, maybe if we play them a little bit different order, we might have been able to might have been able to get at, get wet Westminster. Um, we played a ranked team in Fort Hayes State as our last match of the day, and we came out in game one and really took it to them and, and showed our potential. Uh, got ran out of gas a little bit and, and, and made some some rookie mistakes, some freshman mistakes in, in, in game three and game four a little bit, but. The potential is there. It was so much fun to watch a group of kids that are really trying and buying into the stuff that we're working on. It was a, a great show, and I love the energy. We, we attacked Fort Hayes with, especially in game one. You mentioned uh, what's the potential there. The conference schedule coming up. Uh, obviously, there's that monkey on their back there from last year. Um, I guess, how are you planning to approach the conference, which obviously it's a very competitive Oh, yeah. The toughest in the country. The new rankings just came out, and we have six teams ranked in the top 10 and two more still in the top 25. So it's, a, it's, a, it, it's definitely a tall task in front of us. But that potential, we showed it. We showed we can play with that caliber of team. Uh, we can play with the top half of that conference. So now for us, it'll be us just taking every match one at a time. Uh, have Moorhead coming up in a couple of days, you know, in two days from now. So we're going to spend a whole lot of time preparing for them. We just finished breaking down film. Today we get to go over it and, and talk about their strengths and their weaknesses and, and, and try to leverage our, our energy and our, and our youthfulness against them. So. How about Moorhead? Is that no other back-to-back um, conference games? Do you feel this team is uh, ready to play in back-to-back -back games? I think so. Um, playing two on Friday and two on Saturday, both the last two weekends, is – Definitely a little bit more strenuous than just playing one. So playing one, the hard part, one being away and one being home. But uh, so different venues each time. But it's a. I think we're ready for it. We, we prepared for it, so especially last weekend with the caliber of the a couple of those teams last weekend. They were right on par. If you ask me, I think a couple of those teams were better than Moorhead, and a couple of those teams at Northern might be a little bit better than, than the other two. But it was a a great weekend for us to prepare to be ready for this weekend. So. I'm very excited. Yesterday was my first practice back. I was injured and I kind of fractured my shin again. And so yesterday was my first practice, really jumping and running again. And the energy in the gym felt amazing. Everyone was hustling after every ball. They're very aggressive. And I definitely felt a shift and felt a lot of growth from the first practice that we've had. You know, it's exciting. We get to finally play in front of our fans. We've been playing in front of other schools, fans, and having them boo us and give us the hard part. And now we're going to finally have our fans behind us to actually be playing and having all the cheering on our side of the side of the net this time. Coach, you compare like last week's tournament to the week before. Um, do you see positives and steps that this team has taken? Absolutely. Uh, the caliber of the two teams, were, were, the two tournaments were completely different too. The last weekend was a much higher caliber group of four teams that we played. I have no doubt the Westminster team and the Texas A&M team that we beat, either one of those two teams would have mopped the floor with the, with the teams the weekend before. So we played a higher caliber group of four teams, and we hung right with everybody. And we went to game four twice, or game four and all three of the losses, and at least, at least put us at, at the point that show that we can compete with higher caliber teams. And we passed better. We, we made less mistakes. We're still... Pretty young little puppies in here, so have some, some 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 young freshmen in, but they're learning. They're learning how to make uh, the smart shots when it's appropriate, and learning when when to swing away. So, growth from first weekend to second week the weekend was huge. And if we can just make a couple of those more steps as we as we go forward, I think we can compete and and, and be okay in that in that Northern Sun 